Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. Details, many details, a lot of details, a truckload of details, an exaggeration of details. It is the only way to add realism to your scenes or micro scenes. A Christmas Village is 100% static. 95% if we consider table accents with movements, uh, fountains, uh, sight and sounds buildings, fair attractions, trolleys and trains. So the only way to attract viewer attention is to add details and engage with them. A couple ice skating on a frozen pond is not that interesting, but if nearby you add a small patio with a trio of musicians and a few steps on the right some rascal kids preparing a snowball to throw and on the left a quartet of dancing bears, things change. A stair is not that interesting, but if you add large and graves and if you put on top of them some small snowmen and if you add advertising, posters or billboards to stair walls, things change. When you are over halfway through with your project, your maximum effort should be concentrated, focused on details. Unfortunately, I add a new input that is pure essence of madness. 99.9% .9 of my good instinct is telling me, is begging me to drop it and bury it deeply or I will ruin everything I've made up to this point. For once, just for this time, I've decided to hear to the devil that is constantly here on my left shoulder. You should know that I am a maniac concerning details, so it's time to start adding real details to every and single one of the uh, objects of the uh, street furniture, of the stairs, etc. Here is my stairs I added uh, to access the first level coming from the uh, C section, the arbor section, the wharf section, the dock section. I don't know how to call it, and you can see that I miss some handrails and balusters all along the, here, the steps uh, here and on the platform, the main platform. It is time I start adding some of those details and before painting and retouch the painting here because I don't like having here some white border there. I need to paint it with some uh, grey to mask the white of the um, bricks texture printed and uh, glued on the stairs there. So I will need to start doing some serious work about end railings and balusters. I certainly will not use the same technique I used for my uh, twin stairs and the ancient Greek park. I will use instead some uh, skewers, those are bamboo skewers and I will use only them for um, as tools, okay? Here, I don't know if you can see, I added some marking. Here it is 2 cm from the tip there and there is 9 mm, so 1 cm from the tip there, okay? I will use them as tools, then I will use obviously a pair of tweezers, a pair of nipper, my cutter, my blade cutter, a marker, some super glue, yes, super glue, uh, I added the brand obviously. Then I will use some natural rope, guys. This is 3 millimeters thick, 3 millimeters in diameter, 
natural rope i don't know if you can see it but it is a pure really natural rope and in proximity of a wharf of a docks in victorian era surely there was no plastics or that big amount of metal there was ropes wood a little bit of metal not too exaggerated so i will use uh, almost uh, mm, for the stairs and uh, something else for the do for the piers for the docks this natural rope i don't think it is uh, too thick that the diameter is uh, too big last thing i will use those uh, wooden sticks and uh, those are <coughs> nothing else than some <coughs> sorry perfume diffuser sticks the ones that you uh, put inside some jar of uh, uh, ambient perfume of uh, ambient diffuser and they uh, diffuse parfum uh, perfume parfum parfum if you prefer in french all over your room the uh, the particularity is that they are very flexible and I can shape it, I can modify it, I can bend them because they are, I don't know if I can show you there, maybe not because it will be out of focus there, but they are uh, very, maybe I will delete this part if uh, I notice that I am out of focus, but anyway, here inside you will have some um, empty space and then some porous uh, wood. Yeah, that's why it's some sort of uh, of a straw. Okay, it absorbs the liquid from the jar and it diffuses them. Very flexible. Uh, the um, bamboo uh, ske skewers are not flexible at all. I risk to, if I bend them, I risk to uh, crack them. Those are very flexible. Okay, I can even make a knot there. And they are still very flexible, uh, so I will use them to uh, to do my balusters, and I will use the rope to make the end rails. I will start here. I will start here along this section. Okay. I will take my bamboo skewers here. Skewer, sorry, it is one. A single skewer and I will use those one that are this one that is two centimeters from the tip the mark here to make some holes uh, where I have enough deepness for the last two here maybe just the the last one I will use this one to make some holes some a uh, hole because two holes one here and one there uh, because otherwise this will be too deep okay um, and that's all no that's not all I um, I forgot uh, some uh, white uh, glue let me take some white glue and obviously some white glue with a little brush and I think I will use my uh, magnifying glasses because I need to work uh, very close I need to be precise on what I'm doing. My ruler, I will use sometimes to measure something. Where do I start from? Let's prepare the first baluster here. And, sorry. And I will go here. I will use my cutting mat there to measure. I will go with a 6 cm long um, piece of uh, uh, sticks there because two centimeters will be either by the hole I will do and four centimeters will be visible from the uh, bottom there up. So I will go from 200 uh, centimeters to 260 centimeters. Okay, this is uh, six centimeters. And I will go and cut one. Let me start by one. Uh, second one here, 
two. Three. This is not enough, I think. No, it's uh, four millimeters too short. So I will start with those three there. Uh, and and some rope. Mm. And some rope. Okay. I will start by preparing uh, while I'm doing something else one uh, end of the rope there. If I leave a natural rope like this, uh, it tends to unroll from itself. Each of the single cords tend to unroll uh, and I will get uh, an absolutely awful uh, result. So I will take my super glue and I will add a couple of um, drops here on the end there okay just two drops and i will leave for now to dry i don't know uh, your uh, super glue but this is not uh, uh, instant super glue it has uh, some 10 to 15 seconds of um, before starting curing so i have all my time there then my skewer there I will start from that point here and I will make the balusters and then raise here. Then I will go here, then one here with continuity going downstairs here and downstairs here. So here I will need a very long piece of uh, rope, okay? I want continuity here. Uh, let's start here, my magnifying glass, sorry. Okay, I will start from the corner, I will not measure, let's say I will add two uh, balusters here, one here and one there, then one each, I don't know, two, two and a half centimeters. Let's go, so first one I will go there and I will go down until until I reach the mark I made on the skewer there once it is done I have a perfect hole those are three millimeters in diameter uh, the um, um, diffuser sticks are three millimeters in diameter or something more now some white glue some white glue there okay just uh, I'm a bit on the tip there and then I will place it right here to the bottom of the hole and if I'm correct I should have four centimeters there and if not I will go a little deeper this is 4.1 millimeters, 4, point, 4 centimeters and 1 millimeter, so I, have, I still have a little millimeter to go. And this is, let's see, 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters there. Now, I will take once again the rope. Here it is dried, it has cured, and it's no more flexible there, okay? This is very flexible. This with the uh, a super glue that has not yet 100% uh, uh, cured because my finger sticks on it it's no more flexible what I will do here I will go I need to go this way okay so I will go from the outside I will go inside just a simple turn okay just a simple turn 
I will try to tighten it as much as possible. Then I will use a couple of drops of super glue, one on the up part of the uh, of these uh, uh, circle and one on the bottom, on the bottom one, because here you have two pieces, one on top, the other on the bottom. So I will use one drop here and one drop there. Then I will squeeze with my tweezers the two parts together and wait for the super glue to start curing. Okay? And so I will go with my two drops there. You need to pay attention not to put some glue on your finger there. Then I will take my tweezers and the first one is always a little tricky there and anyway I have all my time don't be don't rush and I will go that way okay I will squeeze I will squeeze and I will wait for some seconds let's say 15 20 seconds squeezing very hard I can still remember the first time that we kissed Feeling light as a feather I always want to feel like this But at some point we mess up right sugar And when we find no one wants to stop And this time goes by I wonder some flexible because I can flex if they are if the rope is not perfectly uh, stretched I can bend some a little bit the the sticks the little piece of sticks there and this is four centimeters yes this Yes, this, yes, okay, and so on. Maybe I will fast forward because the technique is very easy, um, nothing too complicated. I still don't have any glue on my fingers, any super glue, so I will go and then I will do a little update when everything is completed. Okay, okay. this is the result. Let's see if it suits the eight. Yes, you can see that it's enough as uh, uh, balusters and entrails. It is uh, absolutely the right eight, okay, to protect everyone from falling down. I just need to use uh, some uh, little scissor to cut some pieces of rope here and there. to stop here. Bye! To be honest, I'm really scared right now because uh, I'm about to start something that I've never attempted before, obviously, 
but also I was not joking when I told you during the intro that this is pure essence of madness, absolutely madness. Uh, right now I'm following my worst instincts, <laughs> not right now, because what will follow uh, for the next uh, minutes, the next hours, is just the consequences of uh, flash idea that banged into my brain Monday night, maybe mm, Tuesday morning, uh, early Tuesday morning, and I thought, I immediately thought, will I be able to do it? Will I want to do it? Will I be able to do it without ruining my work? Will it ruin my work? Will it not ruin my work? I... <laughs> Put those two things on my hands. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Still, now I'm that. Yes, here, no, here. Absolutely there. For half an hour before filming my intro, I was no, yes. Now, really, I don't know. I am figuring, I'm imagine, imagining right now the final result. I can visualize my final result right now and maybe, maybe it will suit my, uh, my project, my idea of project for 2021 season. Um, I will not tell you what I'm about to start, maybe in three, two, two hours, three hours, some of you may uh, figure it out. Uh, but please uh, don't judge me right now uh, because uh, I'm judging myself right now and I'm not happy with it but uh, I don't know generally I think twice on something before doing it and generally I'm able to um, decide if something is good or wrong for me I am I have a certain age so uh, experience is on my side but right now judgment is not there to help me okay let's uh, let, let's go guys let's go uh, what i will be using and please don't be scared i will be start by this a little piece here guys this is a pvc pipe a pvc pipe we use it uh, at least in europe in italy for water uh, for water it has a length of 107 centimeters so 40 42 inches and a diameter here of 14 centimeters 5.5 inches <laughs> no i will not use it entirely on all with all this length here i will be using 30 centimeter pieces i think two maybe three pieces of three, uh, 30 centimeters in length okay oh by the way this is new it has been made in uh april 28 2021 okay so this is really new uh I need to work on this pipe here, but I need to cut it. But look, you guys, generally the biggest thing I found to cut wood is this little uh, tool here. Uh, you can cut uh, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 20 degrees. But if I put, oops, sorry for the camera, guys. But if I put this in here it will certainly not fit inside so uh, during the past uh, three hours i worked on this little thing here guys uh, i made obviously from some scratch pieces of wood i have okay uh, the base here is <laughs> nothing less than the base uh, from my previous uh, um, hot wire cutting table and you can 
recognize it from the rulers I have here. But I generally don't uh, trash anything. I tend to uh, use uh, them multiple times. Then what I did here, I had those two pieces exactly one here and one there. They are exactly the same. I've made with my circular saw a vertical cut here because I will need to cut uh, the pieces of uh, uh, PVC pipe at 90 degrees, so perfectly vertical lines. Then I also add here a 45 uh, degrees angle groove there. I will need to cut the pipe at an angle of 45 degrees. What I'm doing, told you, I'm not telling you. Um, let's prepare this little thing here. I will use uh, some clamps, obviously, and um, I don't know, maybe I will need to reposition uh, re the camera there. Okay, sorry, but this is very, very big. And uh, so some clamp here, some big clamp, and I will clamp here one, then I will use a little one here on the opposite side there. Now, the pipe, and it fitting, it, it fits inside perfectly because <laughs> I've made this tool here using my pipe there as a uh, <laughs> as, uh, model, as dimensions, okay? Uh, I put them a little big, a little too much there. So, uh, 30 centimeters. to start with this and I will start right here sorry for the noise sorry for the bumpy movements of the camera guys let's go now that I have the initial groove there I can use this uh, other uh, saw there. It is a metal saw, I know, but uh, I don't want to uh, damage anything. And I will go this way, and you can see that I'm already going through very quickly. Okay. Done. Let's remove everything here. Good. This one too. Okay. And obviously I will need to sandpaper heat. But I don't think easy. Maybe I will do it right there. Okay, almost perfect cut there. Okay, now this is the original one. I will go this way. I will not use this one, I will use this one, okay? 
Okay, let's remove this. The second one. The third one. And let's work for a moment on this. First one done, two to go. Uh, I will make a little update when the three of them will be done. One, two and three and obviously as I cut them at 45 degrees, this should be compatible, okay? Not at 100% but hey, uh, almost there, okay? And this one too, I think. Yes, a little sound difference, but I will not use them the, that way, okay? So, one, two, three. Now, uh, still scared, guys, and uh, I will go with the uh, one by one, and I will work on them one by one, and I think once I started working on them, you will understand right now what i will be doing but not the outcome result i'm sure of that okay so let's continue with one of them first one here pieces of uh, um, pipe, of PVC pipe there, okay, and we have absolutely not the same pattern, okay, here and there, two holes each side, to there, to there, okay, two holes each side, and for the first step of this madness is all, um, let's do something more I don't know, let's do something else. Good, uh, let's continue with my secret mission here. And I'm sorry for the noise, but right now it's pouring water outside. I need to measure the inside diameter here of the uh, PVC pipe. I got my caliber here and I will try to go as close as possible to the uh, Mm, halfway, but this should be around, yes, around 136 millimeters or 5.36 inches, okay, 136 millimeter, 13.6 centimeters, good, it is visible here on the 
a panel, but also here on the ruler. Okay, caliber. Mm. Good thing. So, one hundred and thirty-six uh, millimeters. Uh, Thirteen point six centimeters. Okay, I need to cut some styrofoam, and I will go with some square. I will go with three square of fifteen by fifteen centimeters. Obviously, I don't want any hole at all uh, on the three circles I will be making. So, here I have another piece of styrofoam that is 15 by 15. I will go like this. If they fit inside here, yes, they fit inside. Okay, so precisely what I needed. Okay, so they fit inside. You have seen that. It, it went through okay anyway it fits inside and so my three circles are done and I will see you for something else okay they cleaned it a little bit I wanted some tools here and there I prepared a bigger circle here let's continue my dark trip okay uh, yeah this one and i will go this way this is one here and then oops i will mark also here one mark it later. This is number one. I will go with this one, a bit precisely 13.6 centimeters in diameter and I've made a little hole. I don't know if you can see through it. No, you can, but I have a little hole here in the middle, precisely in the center of the circle. And I will go and mark it there, oops, there, 13.6 centimeters in diameter, And this will be absolutely revealing of what are my intention. Then I will go with 2.7 um, centimeter. 2.5, 2.7. Yes, here. Yeah. 10, 11, 12. Point seven. There. Now I need to be precise, so one little square there, and I'm going. for 
got the glue, the super glue, and two more pieces of style. Uh, this one is 8 by 10.6 centimeters, so uh, 8 by 10.6. This is 8 by 13.5. What are those? Length here 10.6 centimeters, here 13.5 centimeters. Okay? Now, always find a small excuse to leave. What's your excuse to make me cry? My love was lost when you came and took it all. My mind says stop, but my heart. Don't go to sleep, no stay with me, I'm in complete, I got mixed emotions, can't make my mind up, to sleep, no stay with me, I'm in complete, I got mixed emotions, can't make my mind up, how can I love you when you're not around, how Good. Okay. This need to be painted. Mm, I think I will go with some uh, color inside and then outside, and then I will have an update. Obviously, I need to do the exact same thing for the other two. Mm, I will work for some more hours. I think. Okay. Uh, I'll have an update when. All of them will be done. A leap into the future, guys. <laughs> so here we are. I completed the, the three uh, pieces there, and I put also a zero one here, zero one there. This is zero two. Okay. Still need to dry the the glue. Still need to dry some more. Okay. Uh, zero two, and this is zero three. Okay. Um, done uh, this one is the only finish complete because this should be a work in progress 
not me, huh? <laughs> not me, okay? Um, where I will put those three things there should be a work in progress, okay? I've done it uh, um, on purpose to have it like this, and I made three different parts there, one, two, okay? They are completely different, okay? This one no, not so different, but here different, and also here different. This one is the less complete, because this is 0, 3. Okay, so I will go ahead, maybe I will close here, I don't know yet. Uh, see you in some seconds. Woo, what a journey. Final recap of this part 12 of the 2021 series, and I'm not starting from the ancient Greek part, but this time I will start from my waterfall here, because now you know that this is a waterfall, a mini a waterfall. Uh, what I did, and I haven't filmed anything simply because it is simple process, but I've added some more painting. I've added another uh, um, layer of brown. Then I added the three different shades of, or three, I'm doing this, three for non-European. Uh, I've done three layers of uh, uh, green, but three different shades of green. And then I've done some uh, dry white brush. Uh, and also in the pool like there, I have the colors there. Uh, and then, and then I've applied four, four layers of lacquer. What I use as lacquer, I use this spray here. It is water-based, clear lacquer, and it is matte, not gloss. So this is water-based, so it's non-toxic, and I can use it inside or outside, so indoor or outdoor. Um, and it is also suitable for um, kid toys, so no problem at all. Uh, a little misspelling here. Aqua in Italian, uh, it is written with a C before the Q. So don't worry, guys, this is a narrow. But this brand, I don't think this brand is Italian, but aqua means water in Italian. But uh, here you have a misspelled. <laughs> you miss a C there. Anyway, I use this spray here for layers of lacquer in order to uh, protect the, um, the painting, the, the colors there. Next time I will uh, place the I will put in place the um, the rocks here the mini the mini all the rocks and I will start uh, the um, the waterfall itself. Um, okay, so uh, um, <clears throat> I think uh, the color now is perfectly protected. Also, I added a little effect here of icy there, ice, 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 and also here, okay? Uh, and this is all for the, um, the waterfall there. Let me go uh, to, the, um, to the sea, to the uh, pier section, because you have seen me doing the stairs, the end rails and the uh, balusters for the stair there. And let me put my nan there. And this is the result from the distance. Yes, the rope is there. Okay, no problem at all. And this is the result. I still need to add walls, etc., etc., etc. But uh, uh, this is the starting and the start of adding details. Now I need to add details, I will add details. I should have added more details because I prepared some more details. I haven't had time to uh, film it and show it because what I'm about to show you takes me, took me 15, 16 hours to complete and uh, it drives me, it drove me crazy. And this is pure madness. I know, I've already told you. And uh, remember, maybe you are wondering what will he do 
with the three things it made. I've already made something, guys. I'm changing point of view here, and I'm going up there, guys. There, guys. <laughs> That's my madness. Uh, I know, sometimes I'm telling you, don't be too anachronistic. I hate anachronism, but if you wait, please wait for next part when you will understand why I added them and there will be a little, uh, a little uh, explanation when I will put some of my details in place and so you will understand correctly. So, uh, you <laughs> maybe you didn't expect to see uh, something like that with the three containers there, not containers. Okay, guys, those are ohms, okay? Ohms, new type of ohms. And I'm projecting my, my Christmas village, my 2021 Christmas village from ancient Greek, ancient Greece to medieval times to ruin times, to actual times for the uh, Victorian era part to the future. Guys, uh, I'm not joking, okay? Uh, Victorian era, 1886, uh, 1917, those homes there are in pure space age. So I'm projecting the Victorian era, 50, 40 years to the future. Uh, okay, I will reveal also the claim I will put there on a little, I don't know, advertisement. Okay, I will reveal it. We are building your future. Okay, I know it's a, it's a little stupid claim, but so, and uh, some more, as, somewhere else, I will also write ohms. So, giant, we are building your future. Okay, uh, it's better if I show you. Uh, let me just uh, pause for a second and I will take it, it right now. Okay, the, guys, uh, here is what I mean, okay? This. Okay, we are building your future homes. Okay, ah, S, A, S construction. <clears throat> Sorry, A, S construction. Uh, with some of the uh, best m European monuments and buildings on the background at 60, I think 60% uh, of opacity. Okay, uh, that's why I'm talking, uh, I, I made this yeah, to explain what I'm about to do. So what the construction site it there is going to do is going to build the future of the building, future houses for my uh, villagers. Uh, let me show you what I made. Okay, uh, in the background, maybe you can see in there, there, I had a long, uh, three centimeters in diameter pipe, it is another water pipe, as pivot from, from where I could um, rotate the three different uh, stages, the three different platform there. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but there uh, I have a hole in each uh, platform so I can rotate. Uh, initially, I didn't know where to place them, so I made this system. And nothing is glued, guys, okay? I can remove this one. If I want, I can remove it and replace it and some and everything else. I have two supports there in order to maintain this perfectly horizontal. Okay. Good, like this. I marked the yes, S1, 2 there, and 3 up there. And uh, this is a construction site, so this house here is done. This is about to be completed. The red one, the 02 model, and the 
zero three model is uh, in in work in progress. Okay, no windows other there, no windows here. I have windows, I have simulated windows, no windows there. Okay, no hand raise there, nothing else. And columns uh, there uh, just for support because my styrofoam here is uh, bending otherwise. The, those are 15.3 centimeters in uh, tall uh, columns. That one are 30 centimeters tall columns. I could have gone differently, yes, but uh, if I place them on the same um, level, I have too much space occupied. I wanted to use this platform there. I will have some more buildings there and the other side here, buildings here, buildings there, so buildings here, buildings there, etc. <clears throat> this will be the future of my Christmas village in 50 years. Uh, you know that uh, <clears throat> um, by the end of uh, 800th century, uh, Jules Verne published uh, uh, many books imagining the future, so they were concentrated, uh, they were um, talking constantly about the future. And that's all guys, I think, for this uh, little recap there, nothing changed here, I promise to do much more work for next time, but hey, really, 15 hours of work for that little thing there, I uh, to make my cutter, because otherwise couldn't have cut the uh, the long pipe, the long uh, orange pipe, okay? Okay, enough. See you for my outro. I'm still scared. I don't know why. I, I should be relaxing, but I'm still scared. Maybe because it is very late or very early in the morning. It is 3 a.m. Uh, but now the last big empty platform or level right there it is filled and it is filled with my madness that's not essence of madness that's just my simple madness and my devil is still there i know that i preached many times not to be anachronistic with your christmas villages with your project but that is just going with my flow for this year project ancient times with the greek park medieval times ruins present times with all the lemax and caddington time buildings and figurines and a little projection uh, 40 50 years in the future with some yes guys that is space age uh, architecture space age architecture during the 60s, 60s, uh, uh, first years of the 70s, but that was pure uh, space age design architecture. So no problem to have just 40 years in the future. I'm not talking about the centuries in the future, just 40 years in the future. Uh, why uh, Victoria era ended in 1917, 1917, to 1960, just 40, 50 years in the future. Um, not a big problem for me, but I'm mad. I know I'm mad and uh, forgive me if you judge this to exaggerate. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish see you next time